Greetings. No. Welcome to Ultra Sofa. I am Queen G. I am the light. And guess what? This is day 11 or 12 of no electric. I'm in Oklahoma City and we had an ice storm. And the first day, my let, my power went off. And it's been like 12, 11, 12 days without power, man. I've been a bag lady. But today, I have to say I'm blessed. My daddy took care of me. Look at this. I don't need a sugar daddy, okay? I got a real daddy that loves me. Look at this. So... My daddy got me set up really nice in a nice room. And I'm very, very thankful. Like, the first few days I stayed in the house, it was ice storm. Um, no power. But it has cold. I stayed in the house a couple of days because I'm one of those people I like to be in my house. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to stay in the house a couple of days. But I already knew it was bad. I just knew that um, this might last days, we, it, maybe even weeks, because it's happened before in Oklahoma City to one of my clients. I think they was without power for like three weeks, almost a month, that they had to wait for their electric to get back on. Oklahoma, the Republican state, is so broke. They, um, they cut corners when it comes to, you know, potholes and Ragged the streets and stuff like that, but they're instead of building like Bricktown up for the elite or the white people, so to speak. I'm not even going to get into race, but that's what it is with Oklahoma. I, Oklahoma sucks. I would not um, recommend anybody to live here or move here. I would never recommend anyone to live here. This is not it, boo boo. But anyway, I'm thankful today that I'm in this room. Like I said, the first few days, I stayed in the house. Then I went over to my mom's for a couple of days. Then I went back home for a couple of days. Then I got up. My dad gave me a little money for, you know, he gave me some money. I took that money. And I went and got a room. And me and my sis shared that one. And then the next two days, she paid and got a room for us. And then last night, I spent the night at my house. Then... Today, uh, my dad brought me up here and got me a room for a couple of days to give me some really good rest. Because I'm telling you, I got bags under my eyes. I got bags under my eyes. I'm sure I got a couple of gray hairs on my chin that I had noticed. And I know I got a few more gray hairs up here. And ain't no telling where else I got a couple of gray hairs from this experience alone. But I want to say, I hope this reaches you all in good spirits and high vibrations. And you know what? Letting anybody dim your light. Well, this has been a trying time. I have learned so much. 2020, you need to stop it. Stop it right now, please stop it. Well, look what I'm doing, guys. You didn't know this about me. I've been teaching myself tarot. I, you know, think I'm pretty intuitive. So, every day I get up in the morning, I meditate, and I pray to the Most High. Um, my spirit guides, I think my spirit guides and my angels and all that, the universe, the divine, um, the light workers and all the people in my life and um, that watch over me and protect me from evil and try to keep me on the straight and narrow even though it's hard because I know I am a mess and I'm sure they get tired and set up for me sometimes. But this is my way to talk to them and um, I read these cards, baby. So I'm getting better at it and I practice every day. That's just something you didn't know about me. And I've done a few readings, and they've been pretty accurate, so I know that I am gifted with the gift of discernment and to be able to read these cards and speak to my ancestors through these cards. They speak to me. But anyway, what else do I need to say? Oh, so... Back, uh, I want to just give you an update on the old man around the corner, baby. So, when the ice storm hit, I felt so bad. I hadn't been talking to him, right? I'm trying to get over him. I'm just, you know what? I told him, I said, if you want me, come get me. And he evidently, he didn't want me. He never came and got me. So, I just was in a place where I wasn't speaking to him. It felt really bad because I'm not the type of person that likes to be mad at someone. But, I mean, you, hey, you sometimes you just got to let you got to be the karma for somebody else. So, and I know he, I'm, he's not my karma because I haven't done anything to anybody lately. I've, I've, my karmic, uh, 
uh, debt is done. Like with my last ex and all that and revenge and tally for titty tattly for tat. I don't do that anymore. So I just let people be, they, be themselves. So the snow, the, the ice storm happened and I was really, really burning down that night because it was cold in the house. It was dark. I could hear myself think. I could hear the silence. You've never heard dead silence. It's kind of like, I guess, if you live in a country, like far, far out in the booty docks, and you just hear, man, you probably hear some birds or some animals or something, but not in my block with that ice storm. It was so quiet. I was just, all I could hear is my thoughts, my heartbeat, and just feel the the, the, the yearning and the, the loneliness of wishing this man that I know I really care about was here. Anyway, so... Um, that morning I woke up, I always go to my front door and open my front door and see what's going on, see how the day looks outside. So I walk to my front door, I open my front door, and there is the man across the street, Oscar, driving down the street. Well, he's around the corner now, driving down the street in the ice storm, in the pitch dark of the morning. And my soul was so heavy at that time I couldn't take it no more and I'm supposed to be the bigger person right I'm supposed to be the one teaching him a lesson right which um I'm sure I did but I decided at that moment I couldn't take it no more so I texted him I just said you know what on a day like today a guy like you would be the perfect guy to be with uh to cuddle up with and stay warm and I said, you should be over here with me right now. And he takes back. And he said, you're right. I should be there with you right now. And we left it at that. So the next morning, he calls me and asks me how I'm doing and tells me to get out of there because it's just too cold for me to be in here. Now, mind you, I think he said he had some kind of way where he could, um, he had heat in his house. He had lights. He had heat. He lives in an apartment, but I live in a house. So I don't know if he had a generator or what, but he was just saying that he had heat, but he said he was already gone. He told me, you're the type of woman that need to get out, you need, that need to take a shower every day, two days, two times a day or whatever. I don't know if that was a compliment or you saying my ass is nasty. No, I think he's just saying you one of them kind of ladies that look like she takes two or three showers a day because she's just that luscious. Okay, well, thank you for the compliment. You think of me too highly. I'm a regular bitch out here, but I'm not even going to call myself a bitch. That's a terrible thing to do. Don't, don't ever call yourself a bitch. I mean, I'm just a regular, everyday person out here. But anyway, so I went on over to my mom. But the deal is, what I was trying to tell my sis is that um, I'm, I'm offended by him. Even though he did call, he reached, reached out or whatever, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't offer you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a person that offers. If I got something, like, say, for instance, if it was a shoe was a, the shoe was on the other foot, I, I would have offered him to come and stay with me. He could have came over and got warm and had a hot meal and slept in my bed, whatever, you know. He could have took a hot shower. That's me. But everybody's not the same. So he didn't offer. And I felt really crunchy about it. I was like, damn, you know, you could have said, hey, or call me the next day. Or made it start being consistent with it and just said, hey, are you okay over there? Um, do you need a few dollars or do you want me to stop by and get you, have you ate today? Just something, just to, you know, just to make a woman feel good. Well, anyway, last night, my sis and I, um, we checked out of the hotel and um, she came over and I was trying to get her to spend the night. But she didn't want to spend the night because my house was so dark. But I took those tiki candles outside. That's outside my house. Took the lid off because my homegirl told me. And I used those to light the house up. Like, you know, in the living room and stuff. It was real nice and cozy in there. But me, I'm used to my house. My house was dark. So, um, it's an old house too. And then my sus also has the um, ability to see uh, and um, like um, spirits and stuff. So, she just really gets kind of... Um, razzle dazzled in my house because she says she could feel something but it's not like a bad energy As a matter of fact i feel it i i think i've seen it or i've i feel it from time to time it's not nothing in my house is harmful to anybody it's just kind of like dwelling there you know but it doesn't bother me As a matter of fact when i'm there by myself we just be chilling in the pain me and the spirit whatever spirit or how many it is in there i don't know but it's definitely something in the house so she didn't want to spend the night but we had went to the store and um 
I looked up and I seen one of Oscar Scallywags, the one that, and I looked up and I got to get a good look at it. And I'm talking about, I don't want to talk about nobody, but I was so, so, so hurt by what I looked at. And, and I could look at it like, oh, she don't got nothing on me. Yeah, she don't have nothing on me other than she got a little boy body. Uh, that's the type, he, I guess he likes, um, you know, the ones that just ain't barely got titties and the ones that just shaped up like a boy. She was real, she's tall and slender. Um, she didn't have much of a shape and it looked like she might have had a baby hump. I'm like, oh my God, did this old man get her pregnant? Then she had a ponytail from 19, the first drawstring ponytail that ever was created. She had it on. And um, she had her hair brushed back with, like my sister said, it looked like she brushed her hair back with water and blue magic grease. And um, she didn't have no edges. And she had a little tiny shirt on and her belly was out. Like she had a baby bump. Like she looked like she might have been like three, two or three months pregnant. Like just now showing. I was like, is that a baby bump? Is that a pregnant belly and my sister said no that's a crack belly i was like i don't know but you know i looked at her she did look like she could have been a crackhead like in her 30s or something like early 30s and that's how the old man around the corner gets down he likes those kind of women the low vibrational bitches but anyway i was offended i was hurt so I think maybe she's over there because her power's off wherever she lives. But he's been dealing with her for some years because I've seen this car, you know, in, in passing. I've seen him talking, leaning in that car. I've never seen who lit, who was in the car, but I knew it was a woman because I'm just a woman. And that's my, you know, my gift of intuition. And like my sister said, you was right. I said, I knew it. It was something. I'm not the man's type. That's all it is. He looks up to me, admires me, probably thinks I'm sexy and gorgeous, but I'm not his speed. His speed is someone he can just like, you know, uh, give him a $20, $30 and they happy with that. Nah, nah, bruh. Nah, I'm too old for that. Nah. If I got to, if I got to be by myself, I be by myself. You know what I'm saying? On my block, they call me the money lady. I don't know why I'm broke. I'm broke, but I carry myself like I got money, okay? I have utmost respect for me. I will not, no other way, accept it. So, with that being said, I'm not his type. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to do these cards. Got them all cleansed. I washed them. I prayed over them. This is not something that is evil. I pray to the most high. I pray to my angels. I pray to my guardian angels, my 